Welcome to White Bear Stadium Super Sunday, the White Bear Lake Youth Football Championships. We are set to get underway with the sixth grade championship. It is the number one seed Tigers taking on the number two seed Lions. My name is Joe Moore. I'm joined by Dennis Jansen, board member Dennis Jansen. And uh, thanks for having me along for another Super Sunday, Dennis. Uh, fourth and fifth grade game. Good game, I anticipate, with a one and two seed matchup here. We're going to see another great one. Yeah, I'm certainly expecting a really good game here for the sixth grade um, game as well. Two really well-coached teams. They've been in the league quite a while, so it should be a real good game. Uh, but, again, as we saw in the first game, one versus two, the, the two seed won out on that one. So uh, anything can happen. We'll see what happens. And these two, you talk about even. I mean, they're pretty much even down the board. I mean, there's not much, much difference between the two here. Both teams finished with a record of 5-1. and one. The Tigers received that number one seed due to a win over the Lions back in week three, 12-6, the final score. So if that one's any indication, uh, I'm looking forward to kind of a smash-mouth type football game here. I am too. Yeah, it should be an exciting game. And, of course, we've been doing this quite a while, Joe, and it's just kind of interesting. Um, some of the names, I circle them here, the, you know, the Lockwoods, uh, Arvigs, Woodcocks, Oxtons, and those are names we've heard in the past, and uh, those are the kind of key kids to keep, keep an eye on. And, um, it's, and it's also nice to say, see that they stay in the program throughout all the, the age groups, too. So should be a real good game here today. Yeah, and you mentioned the players, some of those very familiar names. Uh, a couple of very familiar coaches lead their teams to uh, Super Sunday appearance. Again, Dwayne Corey, the head coach for the Tigers. Mark Woodcock, the head coach for the Lions. Both really good coaches. Uh, uh, Corey's been in the league quite a few years, as long with Woodcock, and uh, it's good to see. You know, we're, we're actually blessed here in White Bear to have some Lions really good coaches. I mean, they do it because they like the game, too. It's yeah. not necessarily, uh, for example, Dwayne has no one in the, his kids are all grown now, but he still comes back and coaches, and that, that's what it's all about. So while we uh, prepare for the opening play of the sixth grade championship game, uh, Dennis, if you could go over some of the rules here at the sixth grade level we'll be playing with today. Uh, sixth grade, same, the same as fourth and fifth grade. Uh, there'll be an 80 yard field. So if you're watching at home, uh, the, the goalposts really, uh, especially on the west end, will not come into play here. This is an 80 yard field. Um, Unlike fourth and fifth grade, however, when they, the teams do punt, you can rush the punter in sixth grade. So that'll be a little bit different than fourth and fifth grade. Uh, otherwise, the defense and offensive alignments are pretty much the same as fourth and fifth grade. Uh, tackles, uh, overhead of tackles, linebackers about three to five yards off the line of scrimmage. Uh, really no blitzing or, or anything like that. Pretty much uh, pretty cautionary uh, football here for sixth grade. Unlike when we get into eighth grade, and I'll talk about that later, that'll be pretty much high school rules for eighth grade. The other big difference, too, I forgot, was sixth grade, now you'll notice they do kick off again now. Fourth and fifth grade, there was no kickoff. They just started at the 30. However, for sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, there will be kickoffs again. And here we go. Brady Fitzgerald to kick it off, and we are underway in the sixth grade championship game. It'll be picked up from Carney and Carney. Runs through a little bit of a seam, 30, and cut at the corner and spun down. Nice return, but a nice open field tackle on the far side by Kevin Zollinger. By nice speed by Carney, they're getting around the outside. And here we go, let's see what the sixth grade game will bring us. It is an 80 yard field. Lions will start first and 10 from their 33 yard line. First and 10 Lions. Carney under center. Burns and hands it off and just a simple play right up the gut. And off that time, two Arvig by Arvig. Picks up a couple on the play. Nothing fancy there, like you said, just right up the middle. Keep it simple. Sometimes simple is better, especially in conditions of today that we have. Although it looks like the snow is kind of starting to let up a little bit. But. Often the hit almost immediately and spun down, perhaps a short loss on the play. The carry was uh, by Griffin Zaccardi. Knifing in defensively was Kevin Zollinger. 
Zollinger on the stop. Nice tackle by Zollinger. Came in there and made a nice play for the Tigers. Third will call it seven. Opening possession of the Third sixth grade the championship Lions. game. A replay of a week three, the only time these two teams played. Hand off and it ends up on the ground. Zicardi never really took that one cleanly and he has dropped back at the 34, a loss of two. Not sure if that was in the exchange or just flat out dropped it, but yeah, the ball's a little slippery out there today. Put it down on the carpet, and I do mean carpet. This field is artificial turf, so. So in the fourth and fifth grade game, a team had to declare whether or not they were punting. Do you declare here in sixth grade? You do not. Um, there you can fake, pit punt. Uh, there is no declaring what you're going to do. And the offense lines right up. This is Carney on a straight keep, trying to go off to the right. Turns up field, down the sideline, very oh. close to a first down for Finn Carney. Not sure if he got it, Joe. Nice run by oh, Finn Carney. Oh, looks like he's going to be a little short. Oh, change it down. And he yeah. is short, short by about a yard. So the Tigers will take over on downs. Their first possession will start just a yard shy of the midfield stripe. Under nine minutes to play here in the opening quarter. Good defensive stand there for the Tigers, and uh, now they get their first shot on offense, see if they can put it in. Boy, Finn Carney, <laughs> we saw it on the opening kickoff, and it looked like he was gonna get caught in the backfield on that play, and nearly ended up getting that first down. The old elusive back, you know, when you think you got him, all of a sudden he squirts out of there. Really, really impressive so far, early in this game. Off, off the left side comes Jack Cunningham, and Cunningham fighting for everything he can. He's in the Lions' territory. They'll mark him at the 36-yard line. That's a gain of five. Vet, the quarterback. Hands it off to Lockwood. That's on the ground, and I believe the Lions jump on it. I believe you're right. Number 70 looks like he got it. Oh, there you go. Turnover again. We saw the ball on the ground quite a bit in the, the opening game yeah. today. And Not surprising with um, the conditions today, but yeah, we've had quite a few turnovers. So that ball's a little greasy out there. So the Lions come up with the turnover. They'll start right at the midfield stripe. Which again for this sixth grade championship game is the 40 yard line. 7.15 to play opening quarter, no score. Straight keep by Carney and Carney. Sneaks his way down to about the 36 yard line for a gain of four. Yeah, again, just a straight keep right up the middle for a nice little game. The game I just want to mention is being broadcast on uh, Channel 19. It'll be rebroadcast throughout the month of October. Also want to shout out to our streaming partner today. Appreciate them streaming the game. Second and six, looked like the snap was bobbled, but a handoff and a nice hole off the right side. And finally, taken down is Levi Harvick, but he's inside the 20. They'll spot it at the 18. Harvick was not going to be de de denied there, boy. He was carrying a player for another few yards there. Nice run by Harvick. from the 19. Hand off, this is Zaccardi, and Zaccardi runs his way down to about the 16, give him three on the carry, sets up second and seven for the Holding Lions. Impressive drive here for the Lions, moving the ball. Uh, 
off Zaccardi looking for some room. He's going to be dropped for a short loss on the play. Good penetration that time from Noah Ludwig. Real good penetration. There was just nothing there at all. Ludwig just shot through that hole there and made a nice play. Third and eight Lions. Up Arvig and he is a tripped up as he uh, crossed the 15 yard line. Knife and in that time was Bennett Jensen to make the stop for the Tigers. That brings up fourth down for the Lions. Jensen on the stop. They're bringing up fourth down. Let's see what he likes to do here. We haven't seen the ball up in the air at all yet today, so. Yeah, not at once. Not, not even in the first game at all, man. Trying to run wide. Arvig turns up field. Boy, and again. Not sure. Yeah. Very close on the far sideline. Looks like he's going to be short. And again, yep. the Tigers hold by about a yard and take over on oh, bounds. Just that close, you know. Yep. Tigers take over. But they are now deep in their own territory. They'll start from be, their uh, 10. Four thirty-nine today for running our concession stand. We are open for business. So Three and a half like to play to opening quarter. Tigers and Lions. We kind of thought it might be a battle, and uh, it is a scoreless one at that. So far, it's been holding up to what we thought it'd be. Kind of a back and forth game. At least field position right now is advantage Lions, but that's right now. We'll see. Pitch, Lockwood. Lockwood turns up field. He's to the 20 down the sideline, to the 30, and caught, and he steps out. They're going to mark him out right back at the 30. Nice run. Nice run by Lockwood. Once, once he got that outside, there was no one going to catch him. That was a very impressive run. And I, I think that will, I will hear his name a few times today, Joe. I don't think that'll be the first or the last time. So. If I'm not mistaken, I think the snow might have stopped here. Or very, very little right now. It's close. It's close. October 14th, folks. We're not even halfway through the month of October. Our first snowfall. You can see it's still on the field. Another fumble, and Beth is able to jump Ball down on that one. Ball. Boy, another fumble. Both sides are having trouble holding on to the ball here. You can see the official wiping the ball off, trying to keep it as dry as possible, but conditions like today, I mean, that's, that's going to happen. Here's the first pass the entire day, and it is complete on a diving catch by Brady Fitzgerald. He is down to the Lion 33 yard line. Well deceived play. That was nice. He was wide open there, too. Nice throw and catch uh, by the Tigers. First throw of the day, right there. The snow stops, and the coaches start opening it up a little bit. Open it up. Yep. So first and 10 Tigers as they uh, switch the field now at the Lion 32-yard uh, line. Hand off, this is Cunningham, bounces it back near side. Cunningham, 25, 20 down the sideline and run out of bounds at about the 16-yard line. Cunningham on the run. Very nice run by Cunningham there. Made a little cut back and uh, got some nice yardage. They will mark it at the 15-yard line. So a 17-yard run for Cunningham. First and 10 Tigers from the Lion 15. The 
went up to Lockwood. He was hit immediately. He just ran into a stone wall Lockwood that time. Zuccardi on the stop. Boy, nothing there for Lockwood at all. Like you said, he just ran into some blue jerseys. No gain there, maybe even a loss. Matthew Anderson just stood the play up and right. made the tackle. And that brings us to the Finn. close of quarter number one. No score between the Tigers and the Lions here in the sixth grade championship game. Super Sunday, and Dennis, well, the teams go back to the other end of the field here. Kind of a nice tribute. Super Sunday this year, the Bob Jackson <coughs> Championships. Yeah, this year we're uh, dedicating our championship game. We used to call it, we usually call it Super Sunday. We're calling it the Robert Bob Jackson uh, Championship game in honor of uh, Coach Jackson, who uh, was the head coach for White Bear for many years. Uh, passed away suddenly this summer, unfortunately. So we thought it'd be a good tribute to, to name our championship Sunday in his honor. Hi, Meals on Wheels. Hey, I'm Marco. I'm a college student, and I volunteer as a driver for Meals on Wheels. I think it's awesome meeting these people. I mean, they're so interesting. They've had so many wonderful experiences in life. Your community helps to raise you up into the person that you become. Meals on Wheels is a great way to give back to that community. Uh... You know, kids liked them. That's the big thing. You know, the people that played for them really liked them, and, yep. and that's what it's all about. Second and eleven for the Tigers. As we begin the second quarter, second and eleven Tigers. And off Cunningham tries the middle, getting a couple on the play, but it'll set up third and nine. Oxton on the stop. Camden, Oxton, Matt Anderson combine to bring him down. Real good game here so far. I mean, you can tell these are two well-coached teams. Uh, I don't believe we've even had a penalty yet. So, no. been really well-coached and disciplined. Third and nine. Vet wanted to drop it back. Now he swings it out. Lockwood has it. Little stutter step, tries to cut back at the 10. He fights his way down to the six. That's shy of a first down, fourth and a long Austin one on awaits. Nice throw and catch there too. Lockwood got some yardage after he made the catch and uh, they got something cooking here now, the Tigers. It is fourth down. Big defensive stop here. Drive that started back on their 10. Now fourth and one from the six. Straight keeps straight ahead, powering, looking for that oh, first that down is Vet. I'm not sure, Joe. Boy, this is close. It is close. I haven't seen anything on the field yet, have you? Or no signal yet by the officials. Oh, first down. Without measuring, they will say first down. So first and goal, Tigers from the five. Off Cunningham, he is hit immediately. No gain on the play. But we could hear the pop up here in the press box. That was a nice hit. Adam Napgizik, I think the first one in on that one for the Lions. So second and goal from the five for the Tigers. Pitch to Lockwood, he pulls up, he wants to throw into the end zone. It was knocked down and nearly intercepted by Dylan Paulson. Boy, no, he, it was there for a minute. That receiver was open. So a little trickery from Dwayne Corey yes, on second indeed. and goal. And like I said, it was there. The receiver was open, but uh, just couldn't make it make the connection. But you're right, a little trickery here down deep in the end zone, or down in their zone, makes it third down. Should be nice. I mean, Tigers would like to punch it in here for a score. 
But that's Corey, though. He does things like that. He'll 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 mix it up. Two receivers near side, fumbled yeah. snap. No, recovered. And it is Lions football. Wow. They turn over the Tigers oh, a second again. time. Again, the Lions score or stopped them again on a turnover. A drive that started back at their 10. The Tigers drive it to the five and to turn it over. 65 yard drive comes up not, empty. Yeah, that's that's football. Sun. I mean, this one looked like the, the, the Tigers are going to go in for the score, and the Lions come up with a big defensive play. Another turnover. Hey, I got to say, one of the things, you know, already, it's obviously just a one year difference, but just the uh, speed of this game compared to our first game. The crispness at which it's being played. Hats off to these coaches. I agree. A nice first down run here by Levi Arvig. And he's out to the 20 with a gain of 15 and a first down for the Lions. Nice run by Arvig to get him out of the hole there. Now they got a little bit of breathing room here on the 20. A uh, long way to go yet, but uh, that kind of gets him out of a hole. But to your point, Joe, earlier, what you were saying about sixth grade, again, it's just a one year, well, in fourth grade, a two year difference, but boy, just the, the size, the speed, the, the kids kind of get more comfortable knowing what they're doing. and It's definitely a difference. Mason Magnuson checks into the game defensively for the Tigers. Hand off, Arvig in trouble in the backfield and uh, tiptoes out at the 19 yard line. Loss on the play, eventually forced out there by Trevor Moss. Second and 12 for the Lions. A handoff. Griffin Zaccardi. Zaccardi across the 25 the before he's pushed back by Lockwood. Nice run by Zaccardi there, kind of juking and jiving, getting his way through the traffic and uh, made a nice run. Credit them with a gain of seven, so third and five here for the Lions. Under six minutes to play in a scoreling, scoreless opening half. And off to Arby, cuts it back up the middle. He's got a first down and then taken down. Forward Arby, progress Arby. has him out to the 33 yard line. Cameron, Another nice run by Arvig. He saw that opening and just made a down. made a scamper right through that hole for a first down run by Arvig. Pretty impressive though. They started deep in their zone, the Lions, and now they've moved it out uh, uh, almost here to midfield. So. Little delay to Arvig, and Arvig is converged upon, taken down after Arvig. a short gain Arvig. on the play. Jordan Cuff was there along with Mason Magnuson. And we get a timeout taken by the Tigers. That stops the clock with four minutes and 50 seconds left to play in quarter number two. Lions facing second and nine from their 34 yard line. And uh, Dennis, obviously, there's a lot that goes into a, a youth football season and certainly can't do it without, without all our sponsors. Well, thank you, Joe, for that uh, segue into the sponsors here. I'd like to thank our level two sponsors, uh, Fred Jr., Wholesale Tire, Hogan Adams, Pods Complete Car Care and Accessories, our level one sponsors, Beartown Lounge and Restaurant, Caldecott and Ferraro, uh, Carboni's Pizza. We just had some for lunch today. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, Culver's uh, Cup and Cone. Can't, I think everyone knows Cup and Cone here in White Bear. <laughs> for uh, sure. Domino's Pizza, Fraser Automotive. Big shout out to Gary. Thanks for your support. Pitcher Place, Signature Orthodontics, Taymark, 
Walzer Polar Chev, and then of course the good White Bear Lake Police. Thank you very much for your sponsorship. We appreciate it. Lion second and nine uh, coming out of the timeout. Hand off and boy hit immediately. I think it was Arvig on the carry, but uh, he, but boy, he, he didn't have a shot there. Yeah, I think the ball got in his hands. And he was tackled. Nice defensive stop by the by the Tigers. And Vinny Westland nose tackle. Yeah. A little fired up after that one. Big kid too. Deservedly so. Yes. Oh man. yeah. Oh sure. <laughs> well, shout out to the old linemen. They don't get much recognition, you know, defense and offense. So it's nice to hear her make a play. <clears throat> So third and ten, Lions. And up Arvigan, he is hitting immediately this Ooh. time. Mason Mason <laughs> flies in like a missile. Said thank you very much, but you're not going anywhere. Nice play by Mason. It almost like he was in their playbook there. He smelled that one out. And now it's fourth and one. Looks like they might be going for it. Fourth and 13. And the Lions will line up to go for it. Come on, Tigers! Straight it's open. For Kearney. Trying to get to that corner. Turns up field, but then he is hit right oh, there. Jerry. Falls ahead to about the 35. Well, short of the first down. And the Tigers will take over on downs again. But I tell you what, the Tigers definitely stiffened up and made another nice stop to keep the Lions out of the end zone or even for the first down. So again, we remain scoreless here. We're almost through the first half. Tigers will start in Lions territory. Just crossed the midfield here. So. Cutback move, and he uh, ends up gaining uh, close to four on the play. Zicardi with the tackle. Griffin Zicardi, the tackle for the Lions. And the Tigers quickly to the line as we approach the two minute mark remaining in the opening half. Pitch back Lockwood. Lockwood with some room around the right side. He's got a first down, tries to cut it back. And that is finally spun down at about the 21-yard line. And Corey is definitely in a hurry up right now. They're going right back up to the line. Gain of about nine on the play, so first and ten. Lock stop with that play going out of bounds at 155. Straight keep for Vett, and he oh. is caught and spun down, chased down on the backside by Matthew Anderson. Nice play by Matthew Anderson, the big boy rumbling and tumbling down the line there. <laughs> nice play. And I mean, he's a big boy. Yeah, he, he stands out on that. Yeah, he team, definitely, that's for sure. he certainly does. Second and 14 following the loss on the play. Pitch to Lockwood, he's in trouble in the backfield. Pulls up, throws deep downfield, and again, it is a knockdown. Intended for Brady Fitzgerald. Third and 14, Tigers, 116 left on the clock. Definitely have seen a little bit more passing here in this game compared to the fourth and fifth period where we saw none. So it, they're definitely opening it up a little bit. Pitch to Lockwood in all sorts oh. of trouble in the backfield. Oh. And now a timeout is taken by the Lions, their first. 
And how, uh, again, field, ad field advantage here. Now all of a sudden the Lions have it. Looked like the Tigers might be going in to drive, and uh, <clears throat> they pushed them back here. Camden Oxton, the big hit that time for the Lions. Forces a fourth and a 20 for the Tigers. 106 remaining to be played here in the first half. I don't know too many fourth and 20 plays here, so. <laughs> it looks like he is obviously going to go for it. Oh, maybe, yeah, looks like it. But he is going to punt. Okay, I didn't think he was, but yes, he is. smart. I think that's a smart play here. Punt it away. So Nathan Vett drops back. Punt this one away that Lions are. Oh, sixth grade, I was wrong. Short kick. Picked up and uh, hit almost immediately was Dylan Paulson. Paulson on the return. I stand corrected. I thought sixth grade they could rush the punter, but they obviously can't. So it's fourth, fifth, and then sixth grade, no punt rush. Seventh and eighth grade, it goes back to regular. Okay. Yes, a really, really good ball game here. Obviously no score, so. Lions ball from their 14-yard line. They have two timeouts remaining. 57 seconds left on the clock. Does he run out the half here, Joe, or does he throw it up and... See if we can get a quick score, we'll see. The Tigers will get the ball to start the second half. Hand off Arvig. Makes a nice cut, now bounces it to the outside, and Arvig run out at the 16-yard line. So a couple nice moves, but it all it does Arvig is result in a two-yard game. A lot of movement for a couple yards, but it's positive yardage. Makes it second down. And they'll stop the clock with 48 and a half seconds left. Arvig, nice hole up the middle. Arvig on the carry. He's got a first down out to the 25 yard line. Nick Hoden made the hit that kind of slowed Boss, things up. Nice stop. Thank you. Nice run by Arvig, though. That's, we've heard his name a few times today, too, Timeout already. Lions. Very nice timeout for the Lions and uh, regroup here and see if they can get a score. Their second time out, so they've got one remaining. Well, we got a little break here. I'd like to do a shout out to the White Bear Football Board. Um, I am a member myself, but uh, really want to thank uh, our co-chair Mike and Mike Mason, and Tom Sirwhitey. I mean, they really do a brunt of the work. Uh, a lot of you know the programs and coordinating and emails, and it's a lot of work. And um, you know, I just wanted to recognize them, to give them a big thank you for all the work they've done and. I'm sure they'll be happy after today's done, get a little bit of a break, and uh, we already start thinking about next year uh, tomorrow, so. No rest for the wicked. Yep. And up and a pass over the middle, and it is incomplete. <laughs> Not Woodcock got a hand on it, but uh, the flag comes in, Woodcock, <laughs> big downfield on that one. Yeah. Not sure who that was even intended to, really, but uh, yeah, it looks like an el eligible man downfield. Yeah. That was a pretty easy one. Five yard walk off, it'll be second and 15 for the Lions. Now 41 seconds remain to be played in the half. Not sure how many timeouts the Lions have. Let's see if it says on the board. Kind of lost track. Go 
great quarterback keep here for Carney and Carney. A short gain on the play. Give him two Lions. Right to the line of scrimmage. Under 20 seconds to play. Can straight keep for Carney around the left side. Cuts it back up the middle. Carney with some oh, room to run It's open. Pick up the block and Carney. 35, 30, will they catch him at the 20, 15, 10, and caught inside oh. the five, a huge they tackle ran out by of time. Ben Lockwood. Time has run out, oh. and we are scoreless at halftime. What a way to end the half, oh, man. man. I thought it was, it was definitely a foot race to the, to the end zone, and what a end of the game. First half, wow, what a game, excellent game. Lockwood chased him down and keeps us scoreless at halftime between the Tigers and the Lions, sixth grade championship as you watch it on TV19 and our online partner, MSBN. I'm ambitious. I will not hide it. We will not hide it. We embrace ambition. Women are made to be ambitious. I will dream big. Big. Without hesitation. We will take risks. Not live in fear. We will rise together. Rise above the negativity. No longer will ambition in a woman be, be seen, seen as, as a negative. negative. We will model ambition for our daughters. I will help women around the world. The whole world. To succeed. Women are tough. Strong. Powerful. Ambition is feminine. Ambition is empowering. Ambition is not a dirty word. Ambition is sexy. Ambition is very sexy. What's your ambition? To help women build empires. Help more women run for office. Empower women financially. To compete equally in sports. For all of us to lean in together. To transform societies. Change the world. Own your power. Own your power. Own your dreams. No judgments. No, no judgments. judgments. We own it. Take the pledge. Embrace ambition. Embrace ambition. Will you? Welcome back football fans to White Bear Stadium. We are set to kick off half number two of this sixth grade championship game. The number one seed Tigers, the number two seed Lions, scoreless through the opening half. Dennis Jansen, your impressions of uh, what I thought was a pretty good half. I agree, Joe, uh, very good half. Pretty much what we expected by two real good football teams. Uh, pretty much no score. Uh, weather played a little bit of a factor. We've had some turnovers. Uh, the ball's a little bit greasy out there, but overall I think it's been a really, really good first half and I expect the same here for the second half. Camden Oxton uh, puts it in play, kind of a short kick. They're gonna have to cover this one up. It's still loose and kicks all the way back to the 25 yard line before the Tigers jump on it. Kind of dangerous play there for the Tigers. They almost lost that ball. Jack Cunningham eventually fell on it for the Tigers. Yeah, no, I thought the first half was everything I expected. A really good football game. What a way to end that half, too. It looked like the oh, oh. <laughs> Eagles were going to go, or the uh, Lions were going to go in for a score, and uh, they got run down there in a, an inside the five-yard line to prevent the score, so we are st remain scoreless. Yeah, Finn Cardi about a 55-yard yeah. run there to end the first half, taken down by Ben Lockwood inside the five to keep it scoreless. And off to Cunningham, the ball, the ball comes down? out, and they're going to whistle the play dead. Lions jump on it, but... I didn't see that. They did call it dead then, okay. Ball was blown dead. Loss of one on the play. It'll be second and 11. The Tigers, who have turned it over twice already, dodge a big bullet to start the second half Ooh. there. They sure did. That would have been a disaster if the Lions would have recovered that one for the Tigers. Straight keep now, Vet just kind of shot, puts it out to Cunningham. Cunningham cuts back and is taken down at the 26 yard line. Not sure if that was a design play or not, but a nice little pitch to the back there to get at least positive yard. Gain of about three sets up third and nine for the Tigers.
bad. Pitches it out for Lockwood. Lockwood turns up field 25 30 to the first down marker, and out of bounds he goes. Should be enough for a Tigers first down. Boy, I tell you, what a run by number 50, Ben Lockwood. He's just a smart football player. Knew where the first down marker was and <clears throat> stepped out of bounds after he made it. And uh, nice run. Got him out of the hole a little bit here now. Tigers have it first and 10 at their 35 yard line. That was an ugly play there, movement. That'll back the Tigers up five yards, make it first and 15 from their 30. <coughs> It's back for Lockwood. Cuts back at the 30 to the 35 and Lockwood will finally be taken Lockwood down now close to the 38 yard line. Nice run. Nice run. Real nice run. Got about he half of what they out. needed. Yep. Looked like there was nothing there. He kind of found a little seam in the in the defense and, and made a positive yards out of it. Nice run by Lockwood. Second down a short eight coming, and I uh, time out on the field as Levi Arvig uh, walks off. Replaced by Finn Carney defensively. Hopefully he's okay. They're definitely going to need him for the second half here. Maybe just a cramp or something. Straight drop. Vet swings it out. It's a double pass. Lockwood and it nearly oh. intercepted. <laughs> by Tyler Glick. That was dangerously close, I thought, to being two forward passes on the play, but... Well, not only sweet. that, and then and then that second pass there, we're all blue in the vicinity, and very dangerous play. Brings up third down for the Tigers, and yeah, Dwayne Corey's not leaving anything in the bag of tricks. Nothing. He's pulled them all out so far. Vet straight drop, throws over the middle. This one is intercepted. Mason Ashman, the interception. And that time, yep, it definitely was intercepted by the Lions. Nice turnover here. Lions have a good field position going into uh, this possession. Six and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. No score. Third turnover of the game by the Lions defense. See if the Lions can capitalize now on all those turnovers. Bouncing it out to the outside. This is Griffin Zaccardi down the sideline. Zaccardi is in the touchdown. Lions. No, they say he stepped out just shy of the goal line. First and goal, Lions at the two. Looks like, yeah, it looked like he stepped out right at the two there. I thought he was in too. near miss to end the first half and a near miss to start the second yeah. half here for the Lions. Well, I tell you what, until they get in the end zone, I'm not sure here. Think, weird things have happened. This is not a give me. First and goal for the Lions. Handoff, Zaccardi off the right side. This time he is in. Touchdown, Touchdown. Lions. Haven't had to talk about it this game, Dennis, but uh, explain the conversion attempt here. Uh, the goalposts obviously don't come into play here. We won't uh, have a kick for extra point. They'll either run it in for one point or pass it in for two points. 
there will be no kicking for the extra point. And we'll see here how they how they do that. Wow, it's, so they broke the ice here. The Lions score first in this tight ball game. Kearney fakes the handoff, throws it into the end zone, and it is intercepted there. Yep. So the conversion is no good. And with 519 left to play in the third quarter, your score, Lions 6, Tigers nothing. Yeah, good game. Really excellent ball game here. Tight, kind of what we expected to see. See if the Tigers have an answer now for that uh, interception, and it turned out to be a score for the for the Lions. Dennis, you talked a little bit about the board and some of the board members. Uh, who are some of those other board members that are spending so much of their volunteer time? And how would people that are interested in helping you out find out some more information? Uh, first of all, the uh, best way to find out more information is going to our website, www.whitebearyouthfootball.org. Um, there's a link there. Um, Turn here from Ben Lockwood. He's out across the 30 to about the 33 yard line. Uh, to come back on how you can find out, there's a link there on their website. Uh, give us a phone call. Just we're always looking for board members. We could use at least two or three uh, qualified people. Um, as far as board members go at large, we have uh, Doug Kovala, uh, Matt Wicken, uh, Mike Prawl, Stu Hildeman, Doug Kovala. Uh, we have Kathy Kirkland that's helping out this year. She's not officially a board member, but she's filling in for someone that left us. Uh, shout out to her. She's helped us out a lot this year. Um, so, yeah, we've had numerous volunteers. We've had some people leave and kind of come and go, but uh, we could certainly use more. And off that ball came out. And it is Lions football on their fourth turnover. Matt Anderson on the recovery. Wow. You wonder when this is going to start hit, uh, haunting the, the Tigers, those turnovers, but this is great field position for the Lions. And I can see Coach, uh, uh, he's uh, definitely not, Dwayne Corey's definitely not happy right now. That's four turnovers in this football game. Hard to overcome that. Yeah, really it really is. is. I mean, it really, really no matter how good you are, that's that stuff. But you got to keep going. Zaccardi again becoming the workhorse here for the Lions. He spins his way inside the 25 down to the 24 on a gain of six. Yeah, Zaccardi seems like he's been getting the ball a few more times here now. I think it's a nice positive yardage. I think this is a big uh, test for the Tigers here if they can hold them. Gives them a little bit more confidence. It seems like the field is tilted a little bit towards the Lions right now. The momentum. Second and four, Hanoff Harvick, nice hole off the left side. He bangs his way inside the 20. He's down to the 17. Arvig That's a first three. down run for Levi Harvick. It's Gerald on the stop. And you mentioned it, momentum certainly with the Lions right now in this one. You just feel it, yep. You definitely just, everyone, all the excitement's on the Lions' side of the field. They're jumping up and down. The Tigers have their heads down a little bit. But uh, you know, like I said, plenty of football left. No reason to get down. And off, Zaccardi takes his way off the right side, powers his way inside the 10. He's going to be close to another Lions first down. Nice run. Gain of 11, it is first and goal, Lions ball at the six. Boy, I'll tell you the way things are going, I don't know if I want to be a one seed today. Yeah, you know, <laughs> right. Really? Right.
And off Harvick right up the middle. He's in. Wow. Touchdown, Lions. This one from six yards out for Levi Harvick. Well, he went off defensively and uh, came back no worse for wear offensively. Right, right. This goes to show you, though, with four turnovers, that they do come back to nip you back in the butt here, and that's that's what they're feeling right now, the Tigers. You put it down four times, you're going to get some scores off it. All the confidence is definitely on the Lions' side right now. They lead it 12 to nothing. Conversion attempt coming. Run it in for one. Pass it in for two. My guess is you'll throw it. See if I'm correct. Try and get that 14. Carney hands it off to Arvig, who does throw, and yeah. it is caught. And it does get yeah. the actually caught by Arvig, the pass from Zicardi. There you go. Nice design play. Nice two-point conversion. That's a big, you know, that's big. Gets you back to that 14-point lead now. Two possession. 137 to play in the third quarter. 14 to nothing, Lions. And not only has it been a Tough day so far for those one seeds. The one seeds haven't put any points on the board yet yeah, today either. Yeah, been skunked. Oh, yes. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Again, want to thank Channel 19 for coming and broadcasting the game, and also our streaming partner today. Appreciate them uh, being here streaming the game live. MSBN. Find them online msbnsports.net. Of course. You have probably found us here today via the White Bear Lake Youth Football website. Ball still loose, still loose, and finally able to grab that one in is Cyrus Ludwig. Well, that could have been another disaster almost for the Tigers avoided, but they did get it back. We'll see what Corey can do here with this club, see if they can punch something in. Stay away from the turnovers. Brady Fitzgerald actually covered that ball up for the Tigers. Yeah, nearly just turned it over for the fifth time. Although I guess I'm that not, wouldn't have been a turnover necessarily. No, but uh, I'm not sure if the if the Lions had they had a turnover today. Or, I don't okay, think they so. have. Yeah. Playing pretty much mistake free right now. Fourteen points. Scored by the Lions today, the most the Tigers have allowed in any one game this season. Yes, think about that. Yes, very impressive. Pitch to Locker, wants to throw, swings it out near side, Fitzgerald. Or Cunningham, rather, Cunningham with across the 35 to the 38. It'll be very close to a Tigers first down. Nice run, nice play by Lockwood. Never count him out when he has the football. I tell you what, he's an explosive player. He knows what to do with it when he gets it, too. Good game here to get him out of a hole, almost midfield now. Second and less than a yard for the Tigers. They get the play off, Lockwood wants to pass again. Now Tux running for his life off to the corner. Trying to turn up field, does with the first down. As he is in the Lions territory at the 37 in the third quarter. He is in the books. Score after three, Lions 14, Tigers nothing. It is the sixth grade championship game, Super Sunday White Bear Lake Youth Football Championships. The teams come back onto the field for the fourth quarter. You can hear the fans uh, whooping it up down below us. Enjoying this game, maybe not enjoying the weather so much. It's still spitting snowflakes every now and then. But it's an exciting day for the fans and the players here on Super Sunday. 
Hand off to Cunningham, cuts it back up the middle. Cunningham gets to the 33 before he's driven backwards. Man, how many blue shirts ended up around that football? I lost count, Joe. That, that's, you talk about game tackling, that definitely was it. That's what you teach your defense to do. There were numerous blue jerseys there. Still some positive yards for the Tigers, though. See if Corey can put it in here. Tigers get a score, make it a ball game. Second down to seven. That pitch is back. Lockwood throws deep on the near side, and it is caught inside the 10 and down inside the five. There goes Brady Fitzgerald. Nice play. He was wide open, too. Very nice, well conceived play. 31 yard connection, first and goal. Tigers from the three. And well, we got movement to look like down. False start. Oh, boy. They keep shooting themselves in the foot here. That'll move them back to the eight, first and goal from there. throws the corner of the end zone and it is incomplete. Yeah, not really open there at all. A couple of blue jerseys there. I tell you what, Corey has been throwing the ball today. I gotta a say, a lot. Pass intended for Brady Fitzgerald, but covered nicely by Angelo Roman on the far side. Second and goal, Tigers. And again, the movement prior to the snap. Ah. So now it'll be second and goal from the 13. Not the way the Tigers want this to go here. Moving backwards. Shotgun this time is Vet. Straight drop, looked right, throws left. It's a double pass, Lockwood into the end zone and waiting and catching. It is a touchdown. Tiger. Nice. Bennett Jensen on the receiving end of the 13 yard score from Lockwood. <laughs> he does do a lot of wacky plays, and I gotta say, that's something. You gotta be on your toes when you're playing this team. Nice play by the Tigers though to get back in the ball game. As the Tigers do it then 14 to six with the conversion attempt coming. They'll throw for it, Vet in trouble Whoa. and spun down. Not today, he says. Camden Oxton made sure that didn't happen. Big stop though, big stop for the Lions. 9-16 to play, quarter four, 14-6 Lions. Well, I tell you, what a, what a well-conceived play, though, for the Tigers there for that touchdown. Yeah, I think this is going to go down to the wire, Joe, today, this game. We'll see. Got a few seconds here, just like to thank some of our sponsors again, if I could. Our level two sponsors, Fred uh, Tire, uh, Hogden Adams, Pods Complete Car Care and Accessories. Our level one sponsors, Bear Town Lounge and Restaurant, Calder Cotton Ferraro, Carboni's Pizza, Culver's, Cup and Cone, 
Domino's Pizza, Fraser Automotive, Pitcher Place, Signature Orthodontics, Taymark, Walzer Polar Chev, and White Bear Lake Police Association. Thank you for all our sponsors. Lots of blue shirts within 15 yards of this kickoff. And it is squib. Yep. It's touched. It's loose. And the signal is the Lions do end up on top of it. The old onside kick was not successful, but nice play by the Lions. Mason Ashman uh, eventually gathered that one in for the Lions. The risk there, of course, is the Lions have good field position now. They're inside their own, uh, or inside the Tiger uh, end zone, or line of scrimmage, so inside the midfield. First and 10 from 39 for the Lions. Who caught the last touchdown? 20? Yeah. And again down inside the 35, they'll mark it at the 34, gain of five. And a good art run from Zicardi. Yeah, he's been he's been a workhorse today. He's been running the ball quite a bit. Tigers are gonna have to stiffen up here now a little bit. They definitely and and also they uh, want to try and get the ball back here. Time is starting to be a factor a little bit. Under eight minutes to play in this one. Both teams with all three timeouts remaining in this half. Hand off and right up the middle, Arvig. Got close to the 30 before he was uh, dragged back. Arvig on the carry. Third and less than two. Officials timeout. We do some equipment repair on one of the Lions players, as you can see. Everybody else taking a knee. Taking a breather here while they can. A little strategy session here for the Lions. Give us time to once again uh, thank our broadcast partners here this afternoon, MSBN Sports, providing the uh, webcasting coverage here this afternoon. You can find them at msbnsports.net as Arvig will go off for a play. And of course, as always, our thanks to TV19 for being here and uh, providing the replays of uh, all the action on Super Sunday. It's a treat to play in the final game of the final day of the season to begin with, and uh, so much more so when you can uh, sit back down in the living room and watch it all take place again on TV19. Get yourself a, a, a disc and uh, have it for memories. And I tell you what, not every team gets here, obviously, and uh, it's really, I, I know my kids were able, fortunate enough to win it too when they were younger, and they still talk about it to this day. You know? about Super Sunday and the memories and stuff. So it's something definitely to, to, to remember. Hand off to Zaccardi and he ends up less than a yard short, fourth and less than a one here for the Lions. Big defensive play for the Tigers, see if they can stop him. Fourth and a yard. 6.25 and counting left to be played. Carney under center takes it. No, it was never snapped. And that's going to move the Lions back and make it fourth in less than six. I don't think the ball was ever snapped, was it? No. <laughs> no. 21 players on the field were uh, off and running. Everyone else is moving, but the center still had the ball. <laughs> you almost wonder if it was like a design play or something. It was really kind of weird, kind of bizarre. Not what they were looking for here, though. It makes it a little bit tougher now for fourth down. We dip 
under six minutes to play, fourth down. Straight keep for Kearney. Running laterally, oh. caught in the backfield and taken down. Oh, oh. The flag comes in late. Brady Fitzgerald with the tackle. And I guess maybe face mask? Yep, yeah, it, it is, is a face mask. mask. Oh, a costly penalty. Oh. Only a five, five yarder. Yard. It does provide the Lions with another opportunity on fourth down. But that could have been a lot worse for the Tigers. They actually got a break there, just a five yarder. Fourth and six, Carney hands off Zaccardi. Fighting for the first down, he's to the 30, but no more. And the Tigers will take over on downs from their 30. Big stop for the Tigers, and here we go. This is it. And again, Brady Fitzgerald in on the tackle. First down for the Tigers. Now we don't, don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but even if they do go on the score, remember they're going to have to get two points just to tie it. So. Big stop now for the Lions. This is going to be a crucial time of the game. Hit wrapped up and dropped by Anderson. No gain on the play, second and ten. Nice play by number 82, Matt Anderson. Just got in there, nice tackle. Big kid. to throw again over the middle and it is caught. It's a first down reception. Boy, they have had some success throwing the football today. I tell you, I'm impressed for a sixth grade team. They've been throwing the football. A gain of 17 again. It's Bennett Jensen on the receiving end. First and 10 from the Lions, 33. Now Cunningham cuts it back up the middle. He's inside the 30, down to the 28. That's a gain of five. Cunningham on the carry. Anderson again comes up off the bottom of the pile. Mason Ashman there as well for the Lions. Somewhat of a hurry up here. You can see a little bit for the Tigers. They've been moving right, right along. Lockwood, straight run this time. He's got room to the right, to the 20. Turns up at the 15, cuts back at the 10. He's inside the five. He scores. He is nice run. Ben Lockwood from 28 yards out makes it a 14 to 12 ball game. Wow. Heck of a ball game. Exciting. And an obvious passing yeah, play is coming here. They have no choice. <laughs> they have to tie it up. One point doesn't no good. But throwing for them is no problem. They, they throw Boy, the football. Yeah. They, they've done that pretty much throughout the year, too. He throws a lot, so. Big, big two-point here. Out for the tight end Jensen. He's uh, got a receiving touchdown already. Had a big 17 yard catch on this last scoring drive. Late defensive substitution uh, for the Lions. And now a timeout time taken out by the Lions. Timeout Lions. 
2.56 left on the clock, so uh, the Tigers don't convert to tie it here. Still a little bit of time. I do time. believe they have all three timeouts I do. remaining. I believe you're right, yeah. I mean, tough. That'd be a tough road to hold, but they, it happens. You can get quick four and out. But let's see what happens here. I think that was a good timeout by the Lions, too, kind of talk about it. This is a big, big player. Don't want to make any mistakes. Lachlan, he'll throw back for Vett. It's caught. Nice He's in. Play. Our tie they tied. That was, look at Corey out there celebrating too. I tell you what, that was a nice play. Wide open. Fourteen, fourteen, two fifty-six to play. I'm not going to mention it, Joe. You know what I'm going to say? But no overtime. Nice comeback, though. Honestly, by down fourteen points. Nice comeback by the Tigers here to tie up the ball game. Now the Lions have some time. Let's not forget they can come back and score here, but. All the scoring here in the second half. In fact, scoreless obviously at halftime. And Lions put up 14 in the third. Tigers have responded fourth. with 14 here in the fourth. fourth. Yeah. Look at the near side and just pouncing down on it is Griffin Zaccardi. Long way to go here to tie it up, but uh, we'll see. They'll start from the 24-yard line, two timeouts, and the clock on the move at On the ground and Arvig able to fall on it. Not a lot of running room there to begin with. Mason Magnuson was right there in the backfield with him. Yeah, that play was kind of doomed her from the start anyway, but clock continues to run. Loss of four on the play, second and 14 for the Lions. Did it Ooh. come out again? It looked like it did. No gain on the play. No I believe it was Carney that ended up falling on it. Third and 14. Off Arvig hit Nothing. in the backfield and taken down. I, kind of, I guess I'm surprised he's not doing the timeout here yet. They're going to let it run down. Oh, no. Timeout. Finally, the timeout oh. taken by the Tigers. Stops the clock 43.3. They let a few seconds run off there. Yeah. So obviously the Tigers are going to get the ball back here, thinking they can uh, get a score. That leaves each team with two timeouts remaining. And under a 
minute left in regulation, tied at 14. Dennis, I will ask the question. <laughs> I know. It, don't hit me. <laughs> overtime. What, what, yeah, what, uh, what are the rules of overtime? Um, rules of overtime are high school rules. The ball will start on the 10-yard line. Each team will have an opportunity to score from the 10-yard line. Simple as that. If uh, the first team scores, the other team will get an opportunity, and if they don't score, the game's over. That's, that's it. And if they, each team does score, then it goes back to another overtime, and they just keep going until one, score, one team stops. Isaac Lindholm gets the kick away. It's going to be fielded at the 33 by Lockwood. Lockwood cuts back. He's inside the 30, down to the 27. 28.8 seconds oh, left. I tell you, Joe, the way the way uh, the Tigers throw the football, though, I mean, they, they, they're right where they want to be. It's right. doable. It's doable, absolutely. And I'm no Corey, he's going to go for it. He, he'll go for the score here. He's not thinking tie at all. He'll try a couple times in the end zone. Most of the passing has come from the, the halfback, Ben Lockwood, yeah, yeah. but he's thrown to the tight end. He's thrown to the wide receiver. He's, so we saw in the two-point conversion, thrown back to the quarterback, so. He's definitely uh, spread it out a little bit to everyone. There's not one person he focuses on. Good balance on this team, this Tiger team. We have seen the quarterback throw as well, but he'll pitch go. back to yeah. Lockwood. Oh, he's open. Looking downfield, Lockwood runs out of a would be sacked. Now he's maybe got some pulls up throws. It's intended for oh. Vett. It is knocked around. Intercepted. And intercepted. It is intercepted. Look. That got knocked around. Tyler Glick ends up with the interception for the Lions. Turnover number five on the Tigers. Man. There's a situation maybe he should have tucked it and ran with it, but you know, get it a shot. So now, now advantage goes back to the Lions here. Just 14 and a half seconds left on the clock. Lions do have two timeouts. My guess is he'll go uh, play for overtime here, but we'll see. Pretty deep in their territory. But now as I say that, watch them do a flea flicker pass or something <laughs> and get a bomb. And, but they might just play for overtime there. Great keep for Kearney. And Kearney out across the 15. And they took the ball away from him. This is Tiger football at the 17 yard line with 10.4 seconds left. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> it's it. I can't even keep up now. <laughs> so the Tigers have it back again. I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that either. 10.4. <laughs> what are they on? About the 8? 17. I don't know. Well, all right. There is still a possibility. And they've adjusted the clock Knock. down to six seconds remaining. So probably only time for the one play out of the shotgun is Vet. Straight drop. And, uh, uh, I'm not sure what there was. Is going to be a screen or what? Either way, it was a broken play. Or... <laughs> Looked like there was movement, and so a lot of people what? kind of stopped. What just happened? <laughs> And by the time all is said and done, we're going to put six, six <laughs> seconds back on the clock and uh, pretend it never happened, Dennis. Yeah, start all over again? Yeah, officials giving the explanation, but he's kind of smiling too. <laughs> like, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, a do over. Ah, this is fun. Fat straight drop. Throws it out and off the uh, hands, hands of Lockwood, and complete with 2.6 left. One final shot here in regulation. 
Yep. Let's see what he's got. Last play of the regular or of the regulation anyway. Pitch back. Lockwood wants to throw. Throws toward the end zone, but oh. it is short, incomplete. And uh, overtime Hi. we go to find our sixth grade champion. Well, fitting for this game, you know, really. It really, it really is. is. It really is. Yep. You can kind of sense there's going to be a real tight ball game, and now it's going obviously into overtime. They will have a coin flip to see who gets first possession. Scoreless at halftime. The Lions put 14 up in the third. The Tigers respond with 14 in the fourth. Turnover is back and forth in the final minute. <laughs> this game has had a little bit it's, of everything in it. Boy, what are the turnovers now? Probably 6-2, I think. Yeah, well, Roughly, yeah. Uh, I've lost track, too. But turnovers definitely played a factor in this game, no question about it. And in, for the Tigers even be this close with that many turnovers, I mean, that's still got to be pretty happy with that. Usually when you turn it over six times, you're not, you're not going to win the football game. You're just not. So. They'll test you. Try to break your will. But however loud the loudness gets, however many cheese puffs may fly, you're the driver, the one in control. Stand firm. Just wait. And move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up till they buckle up. They're going to do a coin flip to see who gets first possession. There's the coin flip as the teams will figure out who gets the ball first in overtime. And uh, Dennis, as you've already explained, each team will get an opportunity from the 10 yard line. If you win the coin flip, do you want to go first? Do you want to go second? Good question. I, I personally, if I want it, I'd defer. I think I'd rather have possession a second time. That's no, just me. No, I, no, I, you need yeah, it. Just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. Kind of, you know, puts a pressure on the first possession to score, you know. Yep. But. That's that's my opinion. I mean, there's just like now when you win the the coin flip at the start of the game, a lot of people defer to second half. Yep. There's debate on that if that's the proper <laughs> way to do it. It's all personal personal preference. Kind of like freezing the kicker. You know, does sure. that work? Yeah. Yep. I don't know. It's, but this is what it's all about right here. I mean, this is what it should be going right down to the wire. Tigers will get the ball first here in overtime. Four downs from the 10. And then the Lions will get their crack at it. If they match each other in the first overtime possession, we'll do it again. Until there's a winner, we have to have a winner. I do take the ball first in overtime. And all the same scoring rules apply. So if a team does find the end zone, conversions, one point on a run, two points on a pass in. Hitch behind Lockwood, picks it up. Boy, that came back on a nice bounce. He pulls up, throws into the end zone, through the hands that time of Brady Fitzgerald. Boy, I tell you what, that was close. Went right to his hands. He was open there. Yeah. Just a big second down here. Play had the disaster written all over, but boy, you know, sure did. Oblong football bounced straight, back kind of up a nice in bounce. Yeah, is able to get it back in his hands and make a throw, but that could have been a disaster. Yes, indeed. Fitzgerald wide left, Kessel wide right. And off Cunningham cuts it back up the middle. He is caught from the back side. He does gain three, so it'll be third down from the seven. And 
and lo and behold, the sun makes an appearance here at White Bear Stadium. Where did that come from? Everyone take a picture of that. That's called the sun. We haven't had that much here in the last week and a half, two weeks. And off Cunningham, and he is caught and taken down by Griffin Zicardi. Boy, he taken down with some force there. He said, you're not today. So here we go, fourth down. Loss of two sets the ball back at the nine. Fourth down for the Tigers. Lions defense. Stiffening up when they have to. Yep. Yep. My guess is you'll see him throw this one here. Straight run, five to the corner. Oh, and he's in. Nice. Nine yard run. Yes. Lockwood. And the Tigers go on top, 20 to 14. And we have an injured uh, Lion player in the end zone. Dylan walking on his own back to the sideline, so that's good to see. Yeah, it sure is. Well, now the, at least we know now the Lions have to make an answer. Yeah. And an opportunity here for Dwayne Corey and the Tigers to put some real pressure on that line offense if they can convert a two-point conversion and really up the ante. Well, I tell you that, you're right at this point. I mean, two points is harder to get than one point, so. Yep. to throw, dumps it over the middle where it's That's intercepted, so the conversion is failed. no good. Camden Oxton ended up with the interception. So it is 20 to 14, Tigers, Lions need to score. Lions need to score, they have to get six. Sixth grade championship game here on Super Sunday comes to possession number two of overtime number one. The number one seed Tigers trailed this one 14 to nothing starting the fourth quarter. They now lead 20 to 14 in overtime. Real good comeback today by the Tigers. But I tell you what, they gotta keep their heads up. Really good comeback. Carney hands it off, Arvig. And Arvig is going to be taken down. Uh, maybe a short gain on the play. Now it comes down to three downs. It's simple as that. They have three downs to get it in. Nice play by Vinnie Westland. Came through there and made a nice tackle. Makes it third down. Ball at the nine. Of course, the Tigers had it fourth down at the nine and able to find pay right. dirt. Yep. Yep. Went to their go-to guy. Hand 
And off Zaccardi up the middle, and he is going to be gang tackled at about the seven. So fourth down. Here we go. One more play. Comes down to this for the Lions right here. Here's the season. Ball spotted just inside the eight. As you mentioned, the entire season that comes down to one, one more final play. play. All that hard work, and here they are. This is the end. Again, we say it all the time. Too bad someone has to lose this game. Yeah. This is this a good ball game. Could have went either way, really. This is it. And oh, it's open. sweeping to the left, trying to get to that corner, no. and he is caught and taken yeah. out of bounds. And that is it. The Tigers have won it. The oh. Tigers win it 20 to 14 in overtime. Nice game. Really good football game. The first half ended with the Lions getting caught at the three. Their season ends at getting caught at the three as the Tigers come back from a 14 point deficit. And the number one seed did prevail. Uh, they did. Going Nothing easy, but they did, they did prevail. Good for the Tigers. Congratulations to them. Well deserved.